Sit. Good. Sit. The other day, I did a short video about how to deal with a puppy uh, that's in the middle of learning the fetch command. And when he comes back, he sort of drops the bumper. How to deal with that. And I guess that's pretty common. The other thing that's pretty common, and I've had a couple questions about it, is that the puppy comes back, or even a dog that's like this guy who's well through the hold command but still is not a mature dog and still makes some mistakes, they sort of bobble the bumper in their mouth. So I want to address that particular issue and there's four things that you can do and I'll go through them one at a time. But I'll list them first. One is to reinforce the command they're already doing. Second is to use indirect pressure and both of those with the rope. Then three and four are, this, are to reinforce a command they're already doing using the electric collar and to use indirect pressure using the electric collar. So those are the four things you can do to clean up a situation where they're mouthing the bumper. Now this guy may or may not do it, but I'll still go through the steps using him as an example, okay? If your dog is young and he's still learning the hold command and some of the basic things, don't make the mistake of not having a rope on him. Uh, that makes it so you basically are out of control and you can't do anything. So with, with the rope, you can make these corrections in a pretty easy way, so. Date, date, ready? All right, good. Hold, hold, all right, hold. Now the thing you're not gonna do ever is get angry and start bashing the little dog under the, under the uh, that's what I see, the trainer in his, basically in his own stupidity, gets angry because he feels the little dog should know the whole command because they practiced it two or three times in the kitchen already. And so it's sloppy and they get angry and they start bunting the dog under the jaw saying, hold, hold, and they get, they actually turn themselves into what other people see as a, is an idiot. So don't lose your temper. In fact, the good trainers, you'll notice when they get into more tight situations with their dog, they get quieter. They're almost at a whisper because they want the dog to have to listen to them to get the message. Not where they overpower the dog with such a verbose and ridiculous message that no dog could understand it. So. To reinforce a command they're already doing, hold, you use your lead, hold, hold, hold. To use indirect pressure, you'd say, sit, sit, sit. Now they look the same, but if the dog started to move a little bit, the indirect pressure of sit would be important. So you're doing a very good job this morning. I didn't expect it. We must have been practicing. So then to use the electric collar, you can do the very same thing. You're gonna say with your collar, hold, 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 nick, nick, nick. Or we're gonna use indirect pressure, which is sit, 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 nick, Sit, sit, good man, good man. So that's what you do if you have a sloppy hold. I got lucky, he did, well, didn't have a sloppy hold this morning, but probably because when he has had a sloppy hold, I did what I just demonstrated to do. So don't feel bad, everybody has this problem at some point. Has this problem at some point. 